The sun was setting in the west, the birds were singing on every tree. All nature seemed inclined for to rest, but still there was no rest for me. So farewell, Nova Scotia, your sea-bound coast, let your mountains dark and dreary be. For when I am far away on the briny ocean tossed, will you never leave a sigh or a wish for me? I grieve to leave my native land, I grieve to leave my comrades all. And my aging parents whom I always held so dear, and the pawny pawny lass that I do adore. So farewell Nova Scotia, your sea-bound coast, let your mountains dark and dreary be. For when I am far away on the briny ocean tossed, will you never heave a sigh or a wish for me? I have three brothers and they are at rest, their arms are folded on their breast. But a poor simple sailor just like me must be tossed and driven on the dark blue sea. So farewell, Nova Scotia, your sea-bound coast, let your mountains dark and dreary be. For when I am far away on the briny ocean tossed, will you never heave a sigh or a wish for me? The drums do beat, the wars do alarm, my captain calls, I must obey. Farewell, farewell, to Nova Scotia's charms, for it's early in the morn, and I'm far away. So farewell, Nova Scotia, your sea-bound coast, let your mountains dark and dreary be. For when I am far away on the briny ocean tossed, will you never heave a sigh or a wish for me?
story of trouble and woe that'll cause you to shudder and shiver about a Chinese bum boatman who sailed on the Yangtze River. He was a neither of high degree as the Joss House records show. His family name it was Wing Chang Lu, but the sailors all called him Jim Crow. E I O E I. Get you come, get you come, kai ai ai. Sailor man, no like he me. No savvy the story of Wing Chang Lu. Too much of a bulbarai kai ai. Now Wing Cheng Lu, he fell in love with a girl called Ah Chu Fung. She had two eyes like pumpkin seeds and her slippers were two inches long. But Ah Chu Fung loved a pirate bold with all of her heart and her liver. He was captain of a double deck junk and he sailed on the Yangtze River, I ever, I get you come, get you come, kai, I, I, sailor man, no like he me, no savvy the story of Wing Chang Lu, too much of the bulbarai, kai, I. Now when Wing Chang Lu he heard of this, he swore an horrible oath. If I can't marry Ah Chu Fung, I'll make sausage meat of them both. So he hoisted his blood red battle flag and sailed to the Yangtze River. He sailed to the north and the south and the east, the pirate for to dice giver. I ever, I get you come, get you come, kai, I, I, sailor man, no like he me. No savvy the story of Wing Chang Lu, too much of the bulbarai kai Now the drums did beat to quarters, and the cannons did loudly roar. Red hot dumplings flew like lead, and the scuppers they run with gore. The pirates strode the quarter deck would nearly a shudder or shiver, and was shot in the ass by a hard boiled egg. Which penetrated his liver, I ever, I get you come, get you come, kai, I, I, sailor man, no like he me. 
no savvy the story of Wing Chang Lu. Too much of a bovarai kaya. Now the dying pirate feebly gasped, We'll give the foeman more shot. If I can't marry Archu Fung, then Wing Chang Lu shall not. Then a peas pudding pot hit the bum boat side, which caused an horrible scene. It upset a pot of hot bow wow soup, which exploded the magazine. Did you come, did you come, Kai, I, I, sailor man, no likey me. No savvy the story of Wing Chang Lu. Too much of the Bovarayikaya. She was young, she was pure. She was new, she was nice, she was fair, she was sweet seventeen. He was old, he was vile, no stranger to vice. He was bad, he was base, he was mean. He had slyly inveigled her up to his flat to view his collection of stamps, all unperforated. And he said as he hastened to put out the cat, the wine, his cigar and the lamps. Have some Madeira, my dear, where well, you really have nothing to fear. I'm not trying to tempt you, that wouldn't be right. You shouldn't take spirits at this time of night. Have some Madeira, my dear. It's ever so much nicer than beer. Now I don't care for sherry, and one cannot drink stout. Port is a wine I can well do without. It's really a case of chacun a son gout. <laughs> Have some Madeira, my dear. Unaware of the wiles of this snake in the grass, and the fate of a maiden who topes. She lowered her standards by raising her glass, her courage, her eyes, and his hopes. She sipped it, she drank it, she drained it, she did. He quietly refilled it again. And he said as he secretly carved one more notch in the butt of his gold-handled cane, have some Madeira, my dear. Well, I have a small cask of it here. And uh, once it's been opened, well, you know it won't keep. Do finish it off. It will help you to sleep. Have some Madeira, my dear. Oh, it's ever so much nicer than beer. Now, if it were gin, you'd be wrong to say yes. The evil Jin does would be hard to assess. And besides, tis inclined to affect me prowess. <laughs> Have some Madeira, my dear. Then there flashed through her mind what her mother had said with her ante-penultimate breath. Oh, my dear, should you gaze upon the wine when tis red, be prepared for a fate worse than death. She let go her glass with a shy little cry. <coughs> Crash, tinkle, it fell to the floor. When he said, what in heaven? She made no reply, up her mind, and a dash to the door. Have some Madeira, my dear rang out down the hall, loud and clear. In a tremulous voice that was filled with despair as she paused to take breath in the cool midnight air. Have some Madeira, my dear. 
the words seemed to ring in her ear. Until the next morning she woke up in bed with a smile on her lips and an ache in her head and a beard on her earlobe that tickled and said, Have some Madeira, my dear. When true simplicity is gained, to bow and to bend we will not be ashamed. To turn, turn, will be our delight, till by turning, turning, we come round right. Tis a gift to be simple, tis a gift to be free, tis a gift to come down where we ought to be. And when we find ourselves in the place just right, it will be in the valley of love and delight. When true simplicity is gained, to bow and to bend, we will not be ashamed. To turn, turn, will be our delight, till by turning, turning, we come round right. Tis a gift to be simple, tis a gift to be free, for the proud are cast down deeper than the sea. The first shall be last, and the last shall be first, and the meek at last shall receive the earth. When true simplicity is gained, to bow and to bend, we will not be ashamed. To turn, turn, it will be our delight, till by turning, turning, we come round right. Well, how do you do, Private Willie McBride? Do you mind if I sit here down by your graveside? I'll rest for a while in the warm summer sun. I've been walking all day, Lord, and I'm nearly done. And I see by your gravestone you were only 19 when you joined the brave fallen in 1916. And I hope you died quick, and I hope you died clean. Or Willie McBride, was it slow and obscene? Did they beat the drum slowly? Did they sound the pipe lowly? Did the rifles fire o'er ye as they lowered you down? Did the bugles sing the last post and chorus? Did the pipes play the flowers of the forest? And did you leave the wife or the sweetheart behind? In some loyal heart is your memory enshrined. And though you died back in 1916, to that faithful heart are you always 19? Or are you just a stranger without even a name? Forever enclosed behind some glass pane In an old photograph torn and tattered and stained And fading to yellow in a brown leather frame Did they beat the drum slowly? Did they sound the pipe lowly? Did the rifles fire o'er ye as they lowered you down? Did the bugles sing the last post in chorus? Did the pipes play the flowers of the forest? While the sun it shines down on these green fields of France, the warm wind blows gently and the red poppies dance. The trenches have vanished now under the plow. No gas, no barbed wire, and no guns firing now. But here in this graveyard, it's still no man's land, and the countless white crosses in mute witness stand. 
The man's blind indifference to his fellow man And the whole generation who were butchered and damned Did they beat the drum slowly? Did they sound the pipe holy? Did the rifles fire o'er ye as they lowered ye down? Did the bugles sing the last post in chorus? Did the pipes play the flowers of the forest? And I can't help but wonder now, Willie McBride, do all those who lie here know why they died? Did you really believe them when they told you the cause? And did you really believe that this war would end war? But the suffering, the sorrow, the glory, the shame, the killing, the dying, it was all done in vain. For Willie McBride, it's all happened again. And again, and again, and again, and again. Did they beat the drum slowly? Did they sound the pipe lowly? Did the rifles fire o'er ye as they lowered ye down? Did the bugles sing the last post in chorus? Did the pipes play the flowers of the forest? City of New Orleans, Illinois Central Monday morning rail. Fifteen cars and fifteen restless riders, three conductors, twenty-five sacks of mail. We're out on the southbound Odyssey, the train pulls out of Kankakee, rolling along past houses, farms, and fields. Passing trains that have no name, freight yards full of old black men, and the graveyards of the rusted automobiles. Good morning, America, how are you? Sing, don't you know me, I'm your native son. I'm the train they call the city of New Orleans. I'll be gone 500 miles when your day is done. Dealing card games with the old man in the club car. Penny a point, there ain't no one keeping score. Pass that paper bag that holds the bottle. You can feel the wheels rumbling through the floor And the sons of Pullman porters and the sons of engineers Ride their father's magic carpets made of steam And their days are full of restless And their dreams are full of memories And the echo of the freight train's whistle scream Good morning, America, how are you? Singing, don't you know me, I'm your native son I'm the train they call the city of New Orleans I'll be gone 500 miles when your day is done Nighttime on the city of New Orleans Changing cars in Memphis, Tennessee Halfway home and we'll be there by morning Through the Mississippi darkness rolling down to the sea and all the towns and people seem to fade into a bad dream The old steel rail, it ain't heard the news The conductor sings his songs again The passengers will please refrain This train's got the disappearing railroad Good morning, America, how are you? Sing, don't you know me, I'm your native son I'm the train they call the city of New Orleans I'll be on 500 miles when your day is done and it's good night, America, I love you. Singing, don't you know me, I'm your native son. I'm the train they call the city of New Orleans. I'll be gone 500 miles when your day is done.
took my car down to the station and asked the guy to fix what's wrong he worked all day down at the station and he gave me a bill that was five miles long the very next day though the car refused to start and when i pushed it down the hill it steered all wrong the guy at the station just shook his head and then he sang this song it's not our fault we have no liability we told you that before we began yes it's not our fault we take no responsibility for we had no idea what would be in the end Well, my good friend Sam was running for some office and he swore up and down that he'd be honest and true. So when elections came, I went and voted for him to throw the crooks out. That's what I thought he'd do. But just a year later, they hauled him in for drug, sex, corruption, and many other wrongs. And when I asked him why he'd gone and done it, he smiled and sang this song. Well, it's not our fault, we have no liability. We told you that before we began. Yes, it's not our fault, we take no responsibility. For we had no idea what would be in the end. Well, it seems someday, sooner or later, someone will push the button and the world will go boom. Between atomic blast and the increased radiation, it seems mankind is going to meet its doom. And when the porpoises ask the few survivors why they pushed the button and what went wrong, those men and women will take a look around them and then they'll sing this song. Everybody, it's not our fault. We have no liability. We told you that before we began. Yes, it's not our fault. We take no responsibility. For we had no idea what would be in the end. Yes, it's not our fault. We have no liability. We told you that before we began. Yes, it's not our fault. We take no responsibility. For we had no idea what would be in the end. For forty long years have we known him, that Cumberland yeoman of old. And twice forty years shall have perished, ere the fame of his deeds shall grow cold. No broadcloth of scarlet adorned him, no buckskin as white as the snow. A plain skid all gray was his garment, and he wore it for work, not for show. Now the horn of the hunter is sounded on the banks of the Ellen no more. No more will we hear its wild echo, clear sound, nor the dark Caldew's roar. When dark draws her mantle around us, and cold by the fire bids us steal, our children will say, Father, tell us some tales of the famous John Peel. And we'll tell them of Ranter and Royal, of Britain and Melody too. How they rattled the fox round the carrock and drove him from scent into view. Now the horn of the hunter is sounded on the banks of the Ellen no more. No more will we hear its wild echo, clear sound, or the dark Caldew's roar. How often from Branthwaite to Skiddaw, through Iselby Waldeth Whitefield, we galloped like madmen together, and followed the hounds of John Peel. And though we may hunt with another, Till the hand of old age bids us yield We'll think on that sportsman and brother And remember the hounds of John Peel 
Now the horn of the hunter is sounded On the banks of the Ellen no more No more will we hear its wild echo Clear sound or the dark cow do's roar For forty long years have we known him That Cumberland he omen of old And twice forty years shall have perished Ere the fame of his deed shall grow cold Now the horn of the hunter is sounded On the banks of the island no more No more will we hear its wild echo Clear sound or the dark cow do's roar Don is going to do another request. Oh, yeah. that one. Yes, that one. It's called Early One Evening. Mm. Well, early one evening, just as the pubs were opening, a stranger came wandering down a dark and windy street. He saw a door ajar, entered the public bar, Said, Landlord, I would like a drink and something nice to eat. I fancy some crusty bread, the roast beef of old England, fresh butter from the churn and a pickled onion too. And if you think you could draw some bitter from the wood, I'd be quite content to sup a quiet pint or two. I'll sit down by your fire and I'll contemplate the infinite. The warmth of your hostelry will seep into my heart. And if a regular should come into the bar, perhaps I might entice him to a contest with the dart. Sit down, said the landlord. I have toasted fish paste sandwiches and tasty instant sausage that I purchased by the ton. And if you fancy it, I could defrost a bit, serve it up with ketchup on a supermarket bun. How about a fizzy glass of quaint old English ready brew that's advertised on telly by a famous rugby scrum? No dirty barrels here, we serve hygienic beer, safely paralyzed inside an aluminum drum. Sit down by the fire, I shall turn the logs on presently. How about a game of pool or else the fruit machine? Three cherries in a row, that will set your heart aglow. And how about some heavy rock to really set the scene? The stranger sat down inside the polystyrene ingle nook. The plastic beams were twining to an electronic sound. He started to bite and chew, took a sip of ready brew, gave a ghastly gurgle and fell dead upon the ground. <clears throat> Oh dear, said the landlord, as he turned the color telly on. Another dreadful accident, the third this week I fear. If they can't hold their own, why don't they stay at home? I must say we do get some funny customers in here. Now what are the joys of a single young man? Booze and bloody well booze and... Oh, what are the joys of this single young man? Booze and bloody well booze and... You may think I'm wrong or you may think I'm right 
I'm not going to argue, I know you can fight. But what do you think that I'm doing tonight? Well, booze and bloody, well, booze and booze and booze and just you and I. Booze and booze and when we are dry. Some do it openly, some on the sly. But we all are bloody well boozing. Now what are the joys of a poor married man? Booze and bloody well boozing. And what are they doing whenever they can? Booze and bloody well boozing. They go out night and make many a call. They come home again and they give their wives all. <laughs> but what brings them home hanging on to the wall? Booze and bloody well booze and booze and booze and just you and I. Booze and booze and when we are dry. Some do it openly, some on the sly, but we all are bloody well boozing. Now what does a Salvation Army run down? Booze and bloody well boozing. And what does the Starvation Army run down? Booze and bloody well booze and... Well, they rant and they rave and they sing and they shout And they shout about things they know nothing about <laughs> But what do they do when the lights are turned out? Booze and bloody well booze and booze and booze and just you and I booze and booze and when we are dry. Let Bob get his licks in. Some do it openly, some on the sly, but we all are bloody well booze and. What are the joys of a minstrel on stage? Booze and bloody well booze and. And what are the joys of this minstrel on stage? Booze and bloody well booze and. Not on stage, dear. After you, dear. <laughs> He runs out of retorts. <laughs> the crowd gives him fits. Half of his audience is already blitzed. Only half? So why do you think that I don't give a darn? <laughs> booze and bloody well booze and booze and booze. And just you and I Booze and booze And when we are dry Some do it openly Some on the sly But we all are bloody well booze
Barney Fitch. He got suddenly rich. Got a big fancy house in Melbourne with buckets of loot and big black leather boots. Acting so haughty and well born. But we of Australia were children of convicts, and some of us wear it quite proudly. So as he rides by in his carriage so fine, I wave and I call to him loudly. Was your grandma a whore? Was your grandma a thief? Were they forgers and grafters who fell to their greed? If you're born of Australia, I know who you be. You're the son of a son of a scoundrel like me. Maggie McKay's got a sweet loving way, and I know that she does adore me. But her parents, they feel it would be a bad deal. They say that she's much too good for me. So as we said goodbye with a tear in our eye, they were smiling and glad of the breaking. But they didn't look so proud when I shouted out loud till the whole flogging town was awakened. Was your grandma a whore? Was your grandpa a thief? Were they forgers and grafters who fell to their grief? If you're born of Australia, I know who you be. You're the son of a son of a scoundrel like me. Madame Marie loves the men from the sea. She says that they're good for business. Her daughters are found in a section of town known for a certain rudeness. Then the cops pay to call. And the judge says, that's all. It's time for a new profession. Marie laughed out loud and in front of the crowd says, judge, will you answer this question? Was your grandma a whore? Was your grandpa a thief? Were they forgers and grafters who fell to their grief? If you're born of Australia, I know who you be. You're the son of a son of a scoundrel like me. Why?